You're not afraid to talk about mm. certain things and you've never been afraid to talk about things. Do you think comedians have we maybe got to a stage where it, everything has gone maybe a little bit too politically correct or you're afraid to go into certain areas? No, absolutely not. No, not there for you. you. Yeah. There you go. No. Cancel culture in comedy, as far as I'm concerned, uh, is a myth. Uh, that is used by comedians to sort of sell their terrible comedy more. If there's this sort of threat of, oh, they're trying to get rid of me, they're, they're trying to cancel me, they're not going to let me say this again. What are you talking about? <laughs> the only comedians that have ever actually been cancelled are in, like, India and Russia, and they're dead now. That's being cancelled for comedy. <laughs> being yelled at online because you told a rubbish joke doesn't mean you were cancelled. Louis C.K. is on tour. Bill Cosby <laughs> isn't in jail. Who has been cancelled in comedy? What's, what are you talking about? Jimmy Carr has been cancelled 15 times in the past seven years, and last time I checked, he's still on tour. <laughs> well, there we go. No, I love a rant. I, think this I love is, a rant no, at 20 past a, nine. It's <laughs> a really good point. You know, watching your shows where you have done comedy about your, your lovely sister, Rosie, passed away when she was seven. She had cerebral palsy. You've done comedy about that, about Hitler, about almost everything. But the jokes are so well constructed that I think everyone joins along with you. Is that is that kind of an issue that you're like, you just didn't do the joke right? Correct. I think, you know, there are, the only reason taboo subjects are taboo is because people do not talk about them. And you can talk about anything on stage. This idea that you can't say anything. I have done jokes about murder, sexual assault, paedophilia, the Holocaust, abortion, uh, murder, death, disability, everything. I've, I've, and I've not been cancelled for any of those things. I've had some feedback from people who are close to those subjects saying that perhaps... Uh, my attitudes towards them were maybe ignorant, which they probably were at the time. And then what happens there is you take that feedback and you apply it to the stand-up. If you're talking about something that is taboo and is likely to upset someone, you have a responsibility to deliver that to the people who are the victims of that in a way that they find it palatable. Yeah. It, and, and, and if you don't do that, that's not the audience's fault. You failed. It's the equivalent of a chef coming out and yelling at every patron for getting food poisoning. You poisoned <laughs> them, you idiot. Your job is to cook it properly and sell it properly. And you're allowed to fail. And I'll defend any comedian's right to make any joke about any subject. Anything can and should be joked about. But that does not leave you free of criticism to people going, you shouldn't have done a joke about that because you're an idiot and you don't know what you're talking about. And that was insensitive. Those are valid criticisms. Yeah. People are allowed to be offended by comedy. Yes, they are. If you bring up a topic that's affected someone, you don't get to choose how they react to being reminded of that in the safety of a comedy club. Amen. Uh, there we I go. Wow.